वेलकम टू प्रोजेक्ट डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस डाइडिशन सिस्टम आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस डाइडिशन सिस्टम इज अ बॉट विद आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस अबाउट ह्यूमन डाइट इट एक्ट एज अ डाइट कंसल्टेंट सिमिलर टू रियल डाइटिशियन डाइटिशियंस आर एडुकेटेड विद न्यूट्रीन वैल्यू ऑफ फूड अ डाइटिशियन कंसल्ट अ पर्सन बेस्ड ऑन शेड्यूल बॉडी टाइप हाइट एंड वेट द सिस्टम टू आस्क ऑल दिस डेटा फ्रॉम द यूजर एंड प्रोसेस इट Artificial intelligence dietitian system stores and processes the above data and then calculates the nutrient value needed to fill up user needs. It then shows an appropriate diet to the user and asks if user is okay with it. Else, it shows other alternate diets to fill up user needs. The system is built with ASP.NET as a front end and SQL Server as a back end. So let's begin with the demonstration of the system. Let's first log in with admin. so you admin need to provide the admin credentials and click on login so those are the four models that could be accessible by the admin the first one is dietitian where admin need to add a dietitian into this system by filling up all the details such as name contact number email id gender and a password which can be shared with the dietitian The second module is view customers where admin can view list of registered customers with their details below and also can fire a search query for the name like if the admin want to search amish and you can write and search the name and the results are provided below the third module is bmi calculator where admin can use the bmi calculator functionality by defining the weight and the height and click on calculate So after clicking on calculate the BMI is calculated here and the BMI status is stated as normal if i decrease the height let's say 140 and when i click on calculate so the system will generate the BMI and the status is changed to overweight so this is how the BMI calculator works we'll check this get diet plan in user module as this option is available with the user also So let's move on to next model that is view charts where admin can view charts provided to the users so let's log out from admin model let's check the user model so your user need to enter the id that is user id and the password and click on login so after successful login as we have seen bmi calculator functionality is present in the user module so those are the modules which are accessible by the user including the bmi calculator so first one is my detail where user can see his detail the second module is bmi calculator where user can calculate the bmi so we have seen two conditions that is normal and overweighted let's now try underweight condition so we'll put the weight as 50 and the height should be defined in inches so let's say 175 And let's calculate this. So the BMI is shown as 16.33, and the status is stated as underweight. So now we will check the Get Diet Plan option here. So by clicking on this, we are redirected to another page where it asks for timing of breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner. So let's specify the timing and proceed. So as we can see, it says your diet plan. and whatever timing we have selected is shown here including the food items which need to be consumed every day so this is the diet plan generated by the system so if the user is unsatisfied with this diet plan so he or she can request for a diet plan by clicking on request diet plan it will redirect to a page where the request button will be displayed and after clicking on request button the diet plan request will be sent to the dietitian which is registered by the admin so we will get back to this module again let's check the diet chart which is added by the admin which shows various group and also specify what food should be eaten for specific body so here we can see body building food which are milk cheese egg meat and fish also there is another section which is energy foods and lastly the protective foods 
and also it says eat something from each group every day so the chart is uh, made considering the body conditions from which user can eat multiple things from this chart so let's check the fourth model that is food pyramid so it shows a pyramid of food and it shows what should be eaten and what should not be eaten or minimize the intake so user can follow all this diet plan to keep their body healthy and the last model is diet plan which we have seen here which requests the dietitian for the customized diet plan and after clicking on the request the request is sent to the dietitian so let's check the dietitian your dietitian need to enter the email id and the password and click on login so after successful login dietitian can see request raised by the user with name amish and his personal details here and also it shows diseases which the amish doesn't have any so the field is left blank here and the date when the request is sent so what dietitian can do here create a plan for that person by clicking on create plan and the page will be redirected to create diet plan so as it says disease is none and food type is veg so those details is enough for the dietitian to create a diet plan for the requested user so here we can see dietitian can create a diet plan for breakfast lunch evening snacks and dinner so the timing also need to be specified for all this category so let's fill out this details let's say breakfast at 9:30 am and fill the details and evening snacks filled minimum 2 rows should be filled and in lunch and dinner minimum 4 rows should be filled by the dietitian so let's fill up for the lunch so while filling as you can see a note column here where dietitian can specify what to be eaten what not to be eaten and how much to be eaten which can be specified in the note section let's fill for the snacks let's fill for the dinner so we have completed filling all the details here so let's now check some validations here so if we remove the timing and keep it as blank and let's click on create plan so it says the field should not be blank so let's fill the details let's check another validations which will show minimum field requirement and click on create plan and it shows minimum two fields required here so let's fill those details and now dietitian can create a plan for that user by clicking on create plan so whatever details are mentioned in each of these fields are stored in the database and a success message is showed saying that diet plan created i click okay and if we move back to view request module dietitian will see no request here as he has completed creating plan for the user let's check the other module which is view user where dietitian can search for the user with his details so let's log out from here let's check the user module again so as the dietitian has generated the plan for this user he can directly go to diet plan and the diet plan is showed here whatever the dietitian has mentioned user need to follow and if user seems to be not following the plan or unsatisfied with the plan so he can resend the request here by clicking on the resend request button so this is all about user module so as we can see bmi calculator is present here for non registered users by clicking which the page is redirected to the 
BMI calculator and user can calculate the BMI and after calculating the BMI system will suggest to log in and uh, get their free diet plan by clicking on diet plan you need to log in first or if user is unregistered with this system so they can sign up here and register their details by filling up the name address mobile number email id food preference disease password so if the user is registered with this system you can enter the id and the password and click on login so it follows the same path for creating the diet plan where user can select the specific time and proceed with the diet plan so this is how artificial intelligence dietitian system works thank you